What's up guys, my name is Trevor. Welcome back to the Arctic Vet YouTube channel. Today, I'm gonna show you guys how to put your dash back in to your C5 Corvette. This will work for any 97 to 2004. Let's get on in here. So the first one that we're gonna put in is gonna be the guys that are in the corners here, right there. These are some super short seven millimeter bolts and one goes over on the driver's side and one over on the passenger side. So I'm gonna get that in first. The easiest way to get these bolts in is to have a swivel socket and then I, I used an extension so that I could get a little more reach out here a little more leverage on there um, if you did have a smaller socket a quarter inch socket that would fit on here and socket wrench you could use that I just happen to have an adapter for my 3 8 to the quarter so that's what I use I'm gonna go to the other side and do that same thing so now on the passenger side you can see right where I'm gonna put that and then if we lift the dash up a little bit you can see the hole and make sure that it's all lined up which is there now it is so i'm gonna just get that finger tight and i'll go ahead and put our socket on there and get her tightened down all right so now i've dusted off the vent up here and pulled this out and dusted that vent off we have two bolts they're seven millimeter i'm gonna show you guys on the outside car because it's a little easier to see so there's one gonna go right there right in that spot and then one over here on that side and they're both seven millimeter so i'm gonna go ahead get those screwed in and then we'll put this inside of there twist it and then just snap that back in place so both those are in now we're gonna twist this guy in see if i can do it one-handed Ooh, maybe now that does go in a specific way, so make sure you got the right nubs in the right spot. We're gonna go ahead and tuck that wire back down in there. Bring it over. There we go. And now, it'll just click into place, just like that. There we go. All right, so still over here on the passenger side, we're gonna go ahead and put the glove box back in. However, ours is gonna hang down because I have to order a new one. Ours broke. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that replaced, but we're gonna put the glove box in anyways just to get it finished up, buttoned everything up, and good to go. So to do that, what we need to do is just slip this up here, and then we're going to want to plug in this plug right there and it should just snap right in maybe a little difficult there we go with one hand but get that snapped in and then we're gonna place the two bolts that go right there in that hole and that hole and then there's some on this top part too still on the passenger side we're gonna put this long seven millimeter bolt right inside of there all right so now we've got the glove box in there's four bolts along the top there two plugs you pull out to reach those 10 millimeters and since we don't have ours in here yet i just stick a little flathead screwdriver there to hold the glove box in place that'll work temporary fix not permanent all right <laughs> now we're gonna move on to this lovely area the stereo area where we have one going in here and then there's one over here and then we'll move over to the driver's side for a few more those are all going to be seven millimeter bolts so we'll get those in all right so while i was here i went ahead and i took the hvac unit out and put the new one in so now miss av got some sparkle glittery Ooh, she's getting girly now ah the wind it blew over my mat what's up guys it's trevor at the arctic vet youtube channel before we roll this vlog i want to let you guys know that you need to head over to the arctic vet 
website. So go over to arcticvet.com and you guys can pick yourself up one of these hoodies. You can save 15% on these hoodies if you use the promo code SPRING2023. We got So on these ones, these are all new. We got the Faith Family Fun going down the right side. And over on the left side, we got the YouTube. And then on the back, we got that OG Arctic Vet. I don't think I have a logo of it. Let's check the car. This happens to be AV that started Arctic Vet. We don't. We just have the, the name arctic vet and i can't really show you guys my back so anyhow you can get 15 percent off of the hoodies using spring 2023 you can get hats shirts of all kinds we have this new logos on there the new arctic vet family logos on there guys i'm super excited head over to arcticvet.com and begin shopping today and again use that promo code to get 15 percent off of hoodies it's only good for hoodies so get you one while you can because it's not going to stay there forever now let's roll this vlog we're back working on the corvette dash this is going to be a long process not really just time wise it is so I've got my trunk button plugged in, but there's one screw back there that I got put in. So this is a T15 screw. I'm gonna get that in and then we'll move on to the next step. So now on the bottom here of the dash, the new knee pad, we'll go ahead and screw these in. Gotta find right where they fit. It's for the knee pad. And then the dash will be completely back in and good to go then we just got to finish putting in the stereo back in which we have a lot of interference and i really don't like this so i'm going to redo all of this in a separate video rewired the stereo essentially the entire thing do it do it better which this is just how it was when we bought the car originally no i don't believe anybody's messed with it since then and it just has it has a lot of feedback and a lot of interference so we're just going to rewire it fix it do it right and then we should get rid of that problem so that's another step and then we can get the whole center console back together be good to go there Whew, man project car I tell you what all right there we go the stereo's in now now i can finish putting this back together because i do have my new uh switch here because it's broken so we're just gonna pull that light out set it to the side and cut this pigtail off and put a new one on all right now i got a new pigtail on there i've got this off of here so that i can put the light on which i'll actually slide over and then put this light connect it put that down and we'll get ready for the rest of this just like that fits like a glove ready to go down all right, so to get that little indicator in there, there's a slot where it is sliding at. You guys can see that pretty good right there. That slot, you have to wiggle that through and then put this plastic piece underneath it, connect it down there and up on top, but I gotta have two hands to do that, so I'm gonna do that. And then we'll put this inside of that spot there. Okay, so the tricky part about this is going to be that we have to pull this up so that we can get that inside of there like that okay there now we're good now we can push this down and push over there and push over there and bam now it's good now it's ready to put the rest of the little pieces on let's go ahead and do that and now that that's pushed on we can put the boot back over oh yeah all right now we got that boot covered we can click this guy should be able to just push it down in there and it should click yep there we go looks nice and brand new now we're ready to put on the center console well the center front piece so I'm gonna go ahead and get my plugs ready for that because we've got a few that we gotta plug in and some screws we're gonna need. Hey, 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 there we go. 
starting to look good. We got that Spice dash mat it. up there. We got this in there now. Now it's time for the actual center console, which we have two of them because one has a good um, hinge. This one's a bad hinge. This has a good hinge. We're gonna take it off of here and then also take that lid off of there and put our lid back on there just because it matches everything. I know it's a little torn here, but it's got a little more padding. It's much cooler looking than that one. Ooh, <coughs> bless me. Sorry. Excuse me. And this cover is just super nasty. So we'll probably just end up pitching this thing after we're done. And you know what? That'd be all right. So this is the old one. We're actually gonna end up using the new one. So I'm gonna clean it up, take this off of there. I already took a whole bunch of parts off. We're gonna clean them, wash them all up, swap out the key, um, the locks to go on the side, swap those out, and attempt to swap out the leather on top as well. Should be some staples, nothing I've ever done before, but should be super easy. So uh, that's gonna take a minute. But I guess that's as far as we get for now. So, yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, smash that thumbs up. Don't forget to click the red subscribe button. We'll catch you in the next vlog. Have a blessed day, a blessed week. Don't forget to check out the website and use that spring 2023 to get 15% off of a hoodie. God bless y'all. Don't ever give up, God is here with you yeah. You are a child, nothing but love is true Just got it fix in you, keep your eyes on the prize That's life everlasting, only through Jesus Christ He came to die